Nice to see you. Cheers, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Good I'm not stuff, too bad. Mate. Getting good older, but uh, I've got <laughs> Aren't to say, we all? <laughs> well, a little bit. But you're, you're still at a good age. Yes. Uh, how's it going today? Because last time we played golf together, of course, you destroyed me down in Bonnie <laughs> Dune. So um, it's different. I mean, I haven't played for a long time. I'm hitting the ball reasonably well, but then uh, the next shots usually stuff me up. So. 50-50 at the moment. Right. And so, Harry, last time we spoke to you, of course, was prior to the Champions League final. Uh, looking back on it now, what are your thoughts on it? I wish I had another two weeks. I wish there was another two weeks of the season to go because uh, maybe I could have put a little bit more, you know, uh, pressure on the manager to uh, pick me. But, you know, he picked the right team for the, uh, the day and uh, I was just happy to get a run in the end and, you know, come through it and feel no pain. So straight after the season, just take us through what the process was. I understand that you, it was mandated that you have four weeks rest by Liverpool? It's a mandatory break, yeah, for a month because of uh, the injuries I went through. It was wise for me to have that four weeks where to do nothing. Yeah, do gentle activity. They say, like, example, walking. They say you can walk around the golf course, bike riding, swimming and that, but just don't put yourself through the paces. So, in, in, in a sense, that obviously ruled you out of the Uruguay game anyway. You needed to rest, but now the timing is perfect with the boys going into camp. Um, you finished on the 23rd, I think, was the, was the Champions League yes. final, so now you've had your month's rest. We read recently about uh, Graham Arnold going and speaking with Benitez, and, and they're on the same page in terms of your management through this Asian Cup. W what does that mean for you? I mean, what, what does the club want you to do? The club... Well, the club... Uh, foremost wants me to play for them, you know, which is uh, no shadow of a doubt. But again, Graham did come over there. He explained it. He had all the program set out. He had everything so they could see. And uh, the manager sat down with him and they discussed it. And when we play, Liverpool are playing. And they think it's better for me to get competition games instead of playing um, practice matches, friendly matches. So, um, and it worked out to be the right, right timing, really. And plus, Liverpool are in Asia around about uh, middle of July anyway, so um, for a tour, so we're in the same continent, same everything, so everything worked out perfect. And so I understand that you've been working very close with Les Jealous, who been, who's been uh, involved in the Socceroo setup for quite a number of years, and he's been with you for the, the full 11 months working day to day in that Liverpool Football Club, is that right? I say he's, he's worked with me throughout the whole 11 months, and again, I wouldn't be where I am now without him. He's, uh, he's put me back together. It's been hard work, especially because um, when I go into Liverpool, there's not only me, there's another 20 players that need looking after, and especially with a player that's had four operations at, at once, needs to be looked after thoroughly, and uh, Liverpool were happy enough for Les to come in, and Les has managed my, my, my whole program coming back, and it's a credit to him that where I am now. And of course, Les will be over at the Asian Cup. So, what, what's is there going to be a specific process after each game that you play? I mean, will you have you will have no, to be Les, retested Les, and Les monitored? Be, no, Les will be with me um, throughout the whole competition. I, I've I've bring him on board on on my staff, right, so see, yeah. uh, to look after me on on a personal level. Uh, I I need that at the moment. I don't want nothing to inhabit me in any other way. So I just need to be careful of what I do and to have someone there ready for me. Because again, I take a lot of time up, and I don't want to be forcing other players to be going. Oh well, I need treatment. You know what I mean? So, and it takes over two and a half hours for me to to get worked on. And if I take that space up with a physio, other players are not going to get that work. So it's better for me to have someone personal where I can do all my work and not interfere with the rest of the team. I guess something that most people won't understand is that being injured for 11 months, in fact, you work twice as hard as the players who are fit and healthy and playing in the team because you're in twice a day at Liverpool. Like it's extremely hard work. So, and I've got to say, you look as lean and as fit as you have when you're probably 18 years old when you first got in the national team. You must be jumping out of your skin. Yeah, well, someone actually told me that I looked quite fat when I was about 18 and that. You know, I'm, I'm not looking at no one, you know. But, uh... It's those managers. Yeah, there. you know what I mean? But no, uh... No, I've had... You know how it's like. You get injured and... Well, when you play, you eat... You eat for three people. Yeah. And then, yeah. so when you're injured, you're still eating for three people because your appetite doesn't die down. So you have to be careful and, uh... I was careful throughout my whole program. Yeah, I, I enjoyed a little bit over Christmas and that, but as soon as Christmas was over, it was a strict diet and, you know, strict um, protein and vegetables and salads and all that, which, was, uh, which needs to be done. Otherwise, you know how quick you can pile it on. A lot of talk recently, Harry, about the position you're going to play in the Asian Cup. Talk that Graham Arnold has approached you about playing in the central position behind Mark Viduka. Have you had those talks? 
Yeah, I, I've spoken to him about it because it got a lot of attention. <laughs> a lot of a lot of people are um, giving their own opinion about it, and I've spoken to him about it, and that's his idea, which is great because that is one of my favourite positions. But I said to him, and he knows this as well as being a player, you play the game. If I'm getting a lot of joy in the in the middle, I'll, I'll play there. But if I know if I'm not getting more joy, I'll I'll, I'll step out and let room for other people to come in. You just got to take it as the game, and that's how I explained it to him, and he knows that. And lastly, you, your first game for Australia is coming up. First game in, in virtually a year, really, since the Croatia game. Everyone looking forward to seeing you play. Do you have a message to the Socceroo fans around the country about the Asian Cup? We're going to go out there and, and do our best. We're going to enjoy it, and we're going to put on some good football, and uh, we enter a competition, we're going to set out to win it. OK, well, let's hope you bring back the trophy. Thanks for your time today and best of luck in the Asian Cup, eh? It's going to be great to see you out in the green and gold again. Cheers, Greg. My pleasure, mate.